I'm Eric Barnes with The Daily Memphian, and welcome to The Sidebar, a weekly show on the community, arts, culture, and more. Today, I'm joined by Jennifer Biggs, food and dining editor for The Daily Memphian. So stay with us for a conversation with Jennifer. Hey, how are you? Hey. Long, the, long time. No I know, seeing. I know. For those listening on the radio, it'd be like, what are they doing? That's really weird. Yeah. But uh, you were nice enough to have me on your show, which is at 11 on WYXR 91.7 every Thursday. And uh, we're doing a home and away. Did mm-hmm. I introduce that concept to you? I think I know I did to Natalie, the home and away. Somebody did. It was it was on my calendar as home and away. Home and away. Home and yeah. away. It's a sports thing. Right. So like this, the, co- the teams would say, well, we'll come and play in your stadium, but only if you come and play at our stadium. So home and away. Well, you know, I do have some idea of this thing called sports. <laughs> when people explain it to me, it just seems... Are you a sports fan at all? I, Truly. I, Jeff, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh my God. I mean... I am a... Um, when I, I'm a playoffs fan, sure. I don't watch the a whole season of the Grizzlies, yeah. obviously, because I mean that's a big time commitment. I'm not going to put into it. Yeah. Um. If same with Tigers, I mean, once yeah. you get into a point, yeah. And sometimes, if I mean, if it's a real hot season, I may get in it. I, mostly basketball. I like to watch. Uh, surprisingly, golf. I enjoy golf. Really. Uh huh. And um, what do you like about golf? Well, one, it's it's pretty. Two, I understand it. I know what they're trying to it's do. It's pretty. It is pretty. Just it's the, pretty. the kind of yeah. The, the, I mean, this you know the all the greens and yeah. the trees. The people are very civilized. You know, That's you nobody. It, it, everything's just you know very quiet and relaxing. Yeah. The the voice even of the yeah the, you know the commentary is sort of soothing. Yeah. Yeah. it's great for a nap. For instance, is probably yeah. how I learned to like golf was yeah. taking naps at, at my grandmother's. On right. Sunday Have you ever golfed? I, I'm not a good golfer. I've but been you've on golfed. Go- yeah. yeah, I mean, I've I, only I, ever golfed. I am not a golfer in any. Yes, I have attention. golfed, but I, yeah. I'm a lot better of a cart driver. Yeah, I can get you around. It's really f- quite fun when you you actually hit the ball in the direction you want it to go. It's like a really amazingly satisfying thing. But I, what I can never understand is the time commitment. It. The, well, it just makes it's particularly once I had kids, and again, I wasn't like I don't really understand how this works. This whole four to six hour commitment, it makes no sense to me. Well, I, there's the part about hitting the ball in the direction. Yeah. Here's what I find really satisfying, and I've done once or twice, is hitting the ball into the air. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's great. That's good enough for yeah. me. I don't yeah. care where it goes yeah. as long as I can get it in the air. In, yeah. So uh, we are going to talk about food, though. So I'm curious. I mean, people who listen to your show have probably heard all this, but but um, and who read you, but just like with COVID mm-hmm. and coming back. Mm-hmm. Restaurants reopening, new restaurants. It seems like there's a lot going on in terms of just stuff opening. Does it? Am I just imagining that, or is it just the perception of a lot of restaurants opening because we were all without restaurants for what felt like forever? Well, there. I would say that there's more to that than just that. There's a lot of, um, there are some new places that are going to open. We know about yeah. that. There are places that have changed. Ours are not the same as they were. So yeah, there's yeah. a lot of, um, it, just a whole lot of um, turmoil is not quite the word I'm looking for, but just sort of, yeah, you know, kind yeah, of, yeah. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of waviness in the, yeah, in yeah. the restaurant industry. Right. There are some things are, okay, so we have, yes, a ton of places open that, you know, were not open for a while yeah. that we were waiting on. And then they all started opening up. But that's been, you know, over the last year, six months. Yeah. And then some, you know, a few new places lately. But we have big events back, which is, you know, another yeah. thing we just talked about a little bit ago yeah. that La Bon Appetit is coming up yeah. this weekend. I yeah. couldn't have 2020, um, but it's back. And, you know, Memphis Food and Wine yeah. On for uh, October. They did do that last October, though. Yeah. And Zoo, um, zoo Rendezvous. Yeah, that was. Thing, right? That was recent. Well, yeah. well, last weekend, I think. Maybe the weekend before. Yeah. I think it was last weekend. Yeah. So these things are back. And and they've had a, a roar and pour for two years. What is roar, what, roar? roar? Roar and pour. That's why don't the, I know about that? Well, it's whiskey. And it's oh, not wine. that's why I don't know about that's it. That's why you don't know about it. Right. Um, but it's it's put on at the zoo. And oh, and okay. with all Dominic and then lots of yeah. other Tennessee yeah. um, whiskeys, not just Tennessee whiskeys. I, I, I don't, it's not that, by the way, that I don't like whiskey or don't drink it, but I basically will take a sip, go, oh, that's really interesting. Do you have wine? I mean, because I just, I don't, I, I don't, it doesn't, I don't know. I, I, I just not that into drinking See, a bunch of whiskey. You need to channel your inner uh, Stanley Tucci and take a drink <laughs> and say, mm, mm, mm. wonderful. 
That is the most Wonderful. amazing thing I've oh, ever tasted. It's amazing. Whoa. In your show, we were making fun of a show we both like, uh, yes. the Stanley Tucci Italy stuff, which is great. If you're into food and wine, it, it's awesome, and he's great. But it is a little bit. There's just some funny things about it, it's and just, he, he does sort of everything he eats, everything he drinks. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> that was actually a pretty, you did pretty the, good. You did right. a facial expression. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. it. What's the video? Yeah. We need a video you podcast. You do need a video yeah. of that. That yeah. was pretty But I do highly good. recommend the show. It's good. Um, but again, like I said in my show, I'll just, just say it uh, briefly again now. I'm never quite sure because I do know that he is a trained actor. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not quite sure that it's as good as um, as he's saying. Maybe it's even better. Yeah. Who can say? We, yeah. we don't know. Who can say? But Who can yeah, say? Italy, uh, Italian food and wine and all that is just really good. Again, I'm here with uh, Jennifer Big Food. Jennifer Big. Jennifer Biggs. Food and dining editor. You know why I screwed up your name is because I was trying to remember what your title is, which is awkward because I'm kind of just sort of your boss. But um, but the so Jennifer Biggs is food and dining editor for the Daily Memphian. You uh, you're coming up on four years at Daily Memphian. You must be. I think I have just passed it. Actually, really? I think so. We're in June, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it started. Yeah. In this May. is right when we really right. started hiring people. I'm employee That's number so- three. Are you really? Mm-hmm. We just talked about this. So yeah. I'm number I'm employee number one. Then Jason and it was just a I think it was the just, alphabetical. Jason Israel, our chief technology officer, who will never come on this show. I wish he would. Um, was number two, and we were both hired on May first, and you were number three. And okay, May first. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I feel certain that I was number three because I got down to do the paperwork before Jeff or Chris. I'm <laughs> sure is why I ended up being three. <laughs> well, of course, you can rest assured that that was the, the reason. Yeah, it, I mean, I love, they may be five or six. Five yeah, or six. It's all in know, there. That's true. It's all five. in place. That's funny. Uh, but well, yeah, but so, among other things, so. that means. Someone needs an annual review. This is exciting. We could just turn this into your annual review. Do this it. could be your annual review. Let's could we if let's where do you, Jennifer, where do you want to be in five oh years? Oh my God. <laughs> this is this is great Tell me how it. you think I'm doing, Eric. Have I achieved my goals? <laughs> Did you know my goals? Did we ever talk about my goals? No. <laughs> but no. the joke here is that I in my entire career, like I've been working since, you know, full time since like you know, summer jobs in college. And since I got out of college, I've had one annual review in my entire career. And it was in January of this year. Cause Andy Cates, our, our board chair, my friend, he's like, well, we gotta be doing annual reviews. I go, dude, I've been running various companies for 20 something years. I've never given or gotten annual reviews. I don't, I, he goes, well, we really got it. Cause it's a nonprofit and the board. And I go, that's fine. I, I really, it's fine. Like, but we got to do them. And he goes, well, and you've got to get one. I go, okay, but you have to understand Andy. This is, we sat down at, at Char. We just mm-hmm. went to lunch. It was just obviously a very formal review. We sat down at Char. Were you at your normal spot, spot at the yeah, bar? Yeah, we do. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, we sat when, well, it was lunch, so we weren't at the yeah. bar. Um, so we sit down and I said, wait, wait, Andy, you got to you gotta know, this is my first review in my entire, he goes, no way. And I walked him through, the, you know, where I've worked and I go, I've never had one. And he was, well, and he had notes. <laughs> Okay. But it was fine. It was just, I mean, he and I talked 10 times a day. So it was just a, a variation on a theme. So are we going to start doing this? Yeah. The board. Uh, yeah. We have to. Oh, uh, but we're, we're not doing like the, we're not doing the big sys- systematic ones, you know, that have like worksheets and like there's a rankings and there's just all this kind of like, it's like a prepared, it's something out of severance. We were talking about severance and, and you know, that kind of real corporate stuff. We're not doing that. They it is were. just, what's that? We can do melon parties. I'm all for a melon party. Um, and the dancing. And the dance. So oh, creepy. that would be great. If people haven't watched Severance, they need to watch Severance. It is really, really. It's on Or at least, at least the seventh show, if nothing else. I don't, good. but I, that's such a weird show that I'm not sure you, the context of that dance scene after six episodes and then that happens is just, is breathtaking. Anyway, um, we, uh, but so food, back to food. We, right, now that we've completed your annual review. Um, I am so glad that that's done yeah. because that can be a real chore. But interesting that you talk about food right after yeah. that because it does go into that. An annual review is sort of an evaluation. Yeah. So I keep saying, yeah, time to start the actual, re, you know, start reviews. Got to yeah. do it. Yeah. And then something happens and then I think, oh, it's too early. It's too early. But it's never going to be just right. We just talked about how yeah, you know, there are yeah. problems with uh, staffing. Yeah. But you just have to look. I mean, I, not you, I'm going to have to look 
beyond that and just say, all right, you know, we do the food. We do the, There's got to be some grace given for the service yeah. because – it's it's a you terrible. Ju- you can only do what you can yeah, do, yeah, right? Yeah, and but we just, people still need to know where good food is, where yeah. there is something that um, you know where they want to go, what's new, yeah, and um, and to have it evaluated on a you yeah. know in a five star system. So yeah. coming coming soon, coming soon, coming soon, very soon. Yeah. Um, again, we're talking to Jennifer Biggs today on the sidebar, uh, which airs on WYXR 91.7 every Thursday at 1130. It's focused on the community, arts, culture, everything in between. It's also a podcast on the Daily Memphian site. Um, we also do other podcasts there. We we have a podcast of Behind the Headlines, the show I do on WKNO with Bill Drees. Um, we have a number of sports podcasts. We have Bill Drees's On the Record podcast, where he talks to a lot of uh, politicians and such. And Jennifer Biggs' food podcast, Sound Bites, which also airs here on WYXR every Thursday 11. All of our podcasts are on the Daily Memphian site, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. They, Jennifer and mine are also on the WYXR app, which is a great way to listen to not just our shows, but all kinds of shows on WYXR, all the music. And it's great because they have the playlists and it's really, you can pick, you know, Chris, we mentioned Chris Harrington. Um, uh, Chris has a show, a music show, and there's just great shows on WYXR and you can get them all on the app. Um, we uh, recently had Pat Bomar uh, which was still like such a good conversation. That was Scott. Scott. Scott, Scott. Scott Bomar. Oh, Pat. I, I, t- I said, was going to say Patty Daigle. And then I said, I'm sorry, Scott Bomar. It was a really interesting conversation. Don't take that mistake out. Cause it's just, I need to own that. Um, that was last Can week. Can I just and start calling him Pat though? No, no, you shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> no. But he wasn't it, Natalie? Not for anything I did. He was just so interesting. He's talked about his music career. He talked about doing um, soundtracks. He's worked with Craig Brewer. He's worked with others. He was just a really interesting. He's got a, a record stu- uh, studio production facility here. He was really good. That was last week. And recently, Patty Daigle. Uh, from the book, the Brooks uh, came on talking about a couple exhibits that are coming up there. I mentioned behind the headlines. And this week we've got Dan Michael, uh, who is the judge over juvenile court. He'll be on. Um, and last week we had House Speaker Cameron Sexton uh, from the Tennessee Le- legislature on. You can get all those uh, as podcasts wherever you get your podcasts or you can find them on the Internet. You know, I've known Scott for many, many years. Oh, wait, is he and like he's related or something? He, he's not related. He is. But he and. My cousin were the two people there who started the band gotcha. Impala, and yeah. um, they still Impala still play sometimes, and then yeah. they do other things. And Scott and Carrie, uh, his wife, are often at John and Missy's house, and yeah. we've had some friends in town. And yeah. um, Scott will sometimes bring plants over. He brought me a, a banana plant uh, not long ago, That's but funny. but Scott's genuinely nice. Yes, yeah. I was. I was um, when Natalie asked you know, when he was on the show and. I said, you can say something about him being scared of power tools, which uh, was a joke only because John is very handy and was helping Scott with the home improvement project. And John would say, because he's scared of power tools. And I said, no, don't really say that. I don't know if it'll hurt his feelings. Which John says, no, it wouldn't hurt his feelings. He said, but you know, that's the thing about Scott is he doesn't give people... Um, you know, he's just so nice. He's he so doesn't nice. say things like that to people and it would be okay. And so now I've said it about him. We all know he's scared of power tools now, but guess what? <laughs> no, so am I. I'm, I'm, you're, I'm you're scared of power tools <laughs> also. And guess what? You neither, are? neither one of us really are. No, we just want John to do the work. Oh, so if you tell John, strategy. oh, I'm, I'm scared. I can't use this that's power really washer. Can you come use this? For yeah, 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 I'm scared of a power washer. <laughs> hey, you, you, have you ever accidentally Actually, hit yeah, your you foot can, with a power washer? It hurts a lot. They do surgery with streams of water yeah, it's like it that. It really will good. cut you. I, when, this is how stupid I was one time. This one time was I so stupid that I looked down and I saw that I had on these these white canvas tennis shoes that I couldn't get clean and I had the power washer in my oh, hand no, no, and no, I no, thought, no, no. you know, I bet this will get it clean. And I just did it and I screamed. I mean, did it, it just hurt. shred them? No, I mean, it shred my foot is what it felt yeah. like it did but you do have interesting guests and, yeah no uh, it's, no it's great and i've had tons of musicians on lately and it it's been really good but it was scott Bomar, not pat where bars right now where what what are some of your favorite bars well i'll tell you too that i really like a lot right now now you know and I, I like a bar and i'm not gonna claim favorite bars yeah, over yeah. Others. I, the favorite thing is a little much like ones because there's so many great Whatever we're talking about. Well, like, the two that I really uh, enjoy right now are 
Panta and Tonica because yeah. of the gin and tonics. I love those big mm-hmm. gin and tonics. Do you you don't drink? I, I like I I like a part of a gin. It's like all boozy drinks. I I like a sip, you know, and then I I don't really want the whole thing. Well, I like, these. but I really do like gin and tonics actually. So. I like well the perfect season for it to have them, and yep. they're in these big balloon glasses. It's not just like you know a little tidy English gin yeah. and tonic with a little squeeze of. I mean, they have herbs and all sorts of things yeah. in them, but they're not sweet. They're floral. They're fresh. Yeah, they're just. I just really dig them. Yeah, and so I like both of those because I like the yeah. the gin and tonics. Although you can get a gin and tonic everywhere, um, but a good gin and tonic is different. Like the best gin and tonic I ever had was in. This is going to be sound really bougie. Uh, was in Paris in uh, uh, Saint Germain kind of area, mm-hmm. and I was there with somebody who was like, "Every day we'll we'll do we we'll go off for our own thing, and then we'll meet at this." particular restaurant and the way they do a lot of those cafes and bars in in Paris, the seating is all kind of in rows facing out at the street. And we would sit there every afternoon and drink a gin and tonic and sort of, where'd you go today? And where'd you go today? And it was, and the the gin and tonics were, they were real simple, but they're so good. And that's when I realized gin and tonics aren't sweet. They don't have to be. Right. They're just like, it was, the tonic was real good and it was just, they were great. Well, they, they can story. be really floral too, depending yeah. on the gin. But yeah. but some of these, I mean, this is just all offset. I think that they both, the Tonica yeah. and and Panta, do a really good job. Uh, was at, had a really nice dinner, and they have a great bar at uh, McEwen's last yeah. weekend. Really good dinner. That, McEwen, and, we went. Um, sorry, we went like a month ago. Something like I don't know, I don't have any sense of time, but it is so great. It was the first time I'd been in since it's reopened, and they did it perfectly. Like they did exactly, it still feels like McEwen's. It still feels like that cool old space, but they clearly modernized some stuff that needed to be modernized. And the new space doesn't feel like an awkward addition. You know, it feels like no. an extension of the place. Right. It, it was really, and it was so great to go back. I mean, in the suburb, it was really good. It, well, it really was. And we were on the old side, but they were able to have like a whole wedding party on the new side, but you couldn't tell that oh, wow. you've got yeah. a whole thing yeah. going on over there. But when we were leaving, we were going to have to wait forever for our car because the wedding party was leaving and the valet was so far behind. So we just uh, started walking around downtown and there was a lot going on. It was Memorial Day weekend. And um and ended up walking into Bell Tavern just oh, down yeah, the street, yeah, yeah, which has yeah. recently reopened. Yeah, and was that, Harold there? That, yes, he was. Oh, that's and, great. and that's a, a really you know Harold makes a great drink. So. Yeah, and he hadn't they and hadn't completely great, gotten everything together yet as far as the menu right. or even the cocktail list. But right, and he, uh, we just sat in there and, and visited for a, little, a bit just to wait. Yeah, to go back and get the car. And um, where else have I been lately that's on the newish side? And McEwen's isn't new, but reopened, of course. Um, there's, you know, a project I've been working on that's taken me into a lot of different places that I don't want to go into right now. So I'm trying to think of other things that um, talked about. Panta and Tonica, I like both of those. I had a, a dinner at Echo not too long ago either. And Echo, I just... I just love it. I know. It's every so Every time I go. It's so good. Isn't it always it's so good. Yep. It's just so good. good? Have you ever had a bad meal there? No. Me either. Yep. Never. And the, the outdoor space in the back is awesome. And the the um, we were there last week. I mean, or this week. Last week. I don't know when. But yeah. we were there recently. It, how really often good. do you eat out? I mean, during the week. Oh, God. I'm back to eating out just constantly. I mean, um, yeah, a lot. Four, five times a week. Easy. I mean, just for dinner. If, if Leslie, asking. Leslie cooks, my girlfriend cooks mm-hmm. and she's a great cook and, but I'm not in the habit of cooking. So, um, you know, and we both end up working late and so it's just kind of like, we'll just go somewhere. So we have our kind of regular places and, you know, we kind of fall into ruts. I def, I actually, to me, it's not even falling in a rut. I, I love like, you know, certain like patterns in my life. It keeps sure. me calm. And so, um, there's a bunch, you know, we do Echo all the time. We've hardly been to Tonica because it's been so packed, but we right. went there for a full dinner. The only time I'd been there was I, the op- that soft opening, and I saw you there. That's the only other time I'd, I'd been there no because kidding. we couldn't ever get in. And then um, we still go to Beauty Shop a lot. It's always great. I love uh, Beauty Shop. I love Beauty Shop. Beauty Shop might be my favorite food. Yeah. It might be. It's way up there. There's, I mean, it, 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 when I say – and you know that – doesn't mean that every meal is going to be my favorite meal. There may be something I like someplace else, but I'm always going to find there's going to be a fish dish yeah, that I yeah. love. Yeah. There's going to be something kind of over the top that I'm going to like. Right. 
I love Beauty Shop. Yeah. And they're love open it. on Mondays. Not to like do an endorsement here, but they're one of the very few in Midtown Downtown. No, that are no. Open. I think Karen needs to send us some money for that for sure. Yeah. Because Mondays is a big deal. It's a big deal. I mean, nobody a lot of people aren't open Tuesday, which I get. I mean, I, I get why the staffing stuff we talked about all that. But um it um yeah, we go there a lot. I go to SOB. And I think I was yeah, talking to you we, about this, we right? The rebooted right. new SOB is not that I didn't like the old SOB, but it was kind of grungy, more neighborhood bar kind of feel, which is great. They really, it's a whole different deal. Like the space is really cool. And the the food, we went there last night with a friend of the show, Carrie Hayes, uh, who's in town. And friend I had of the show? S- friend Did of the show. Counting friend of the he show. He just hosted two shows when I was out of town. <laughs> um, of and he is a friend of the show. He was, he's, uh, Carrie, Carrie's always been a friend of the show and uh, behind the headlines. Um, but we went there. I had some of his, like a bite of his catfish that was absolutely out of this world. I had the salmon. It was really, really good. It's, you got to go there. You gotta, it's good. They yeah, got good. Like- I don't know about their drinks, but they got a great, a really, I shouldn't say great. They have a really good wine menu. Uh-huh. Um, and it's, it's, I can't think of a restaurant in Memphis that has transformed itself the way they have with this new menu, new space, just kind of a different approach. It's just, it's not what it used to be. Oh, I it's just, really interesting. I just might have to go there. Yeah. Like right when we finish. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, could, I could see that happening. It's one of my, I, actually, I go there for lunch a lot too. Um, where the, else? Well, then, um, what I'm trying to think, I, Got a whiskey dinner coming up at Celtic Crossing, but that will be Rennie's food, and he'll be doing um, their, you know, yeah. DJ does the whiskey and Rennie does the the food, but that's still a couple weeks away. I'm getting ready to go to New Orleans. Oh, yeah. What are you for just, for? For taking the kids. Yeah. And uh, they have – Hitting Bill, some clubs. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, Chloe – I mean, she likes the vodka and the sorbet, and you have to go back and listen to uh, the previous show to find out about that. But yeah, she's gonna, she'll be a lot of fun. I don't yeah. know about Jack, but Chloe's going to. I remember my kids taking one of them when he was, I think, Reed, pretty young. But it's fun. It's just a spectacle. And you, the zoo's great, and you can get on the trolley, and there's all kinds of fun stuff to do. The so. zoo is great. The and aquarium. I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, that. we're going to do the aquarium, which we've never done. Yeah. I've, I've never done the aquarium. Uh, but will you do food while you're down there? Where do you go? Where do you eat there? Well, I will eat at all different kinds of places. But uh, there's a place that I want to go to that I haven't eaten at in a long time. I'm going to show you. This is the last time Chloe was Oh, well, Carolina. this is good podcast co- yeah. Uh, content. Yeah, it, well, that is can't. a very cute picture. It's an, it is Chloe in cowboy boots, a, a tool skirt, and a sequin top walking in my big sunglasses through the front That's quarter. That's very cute. And looking like she owns it, I yeah. might say. She yeah. is looking yeah. forward to going back. But where, where will you – again, we're where talking to Jennifer Biggs, will... food and dining editor, I believe. Yes, daily yeah, that's what that's what, what, will, that's what will you eat in you, New Orleans? You asked me what I wanted to be. Yeah, I didn't know I could have <laughs> picked anything. I just <laughs> one place I really want to eat at in New Orleans this time, and I haven't eaten there in a few in a few visits. Is a place that a lot of people have never heard of, but it's a little Spanish place called Lola's Table. And I was thinking about Panta, and um, and there. it's out on uh, Esplanade. Which is down towards city, going down towards City Park, and I was, you know, they call the. I'm pretty sure it's Esplanade in New Orleans instead of Esplanade. Yeah, it, all the streets are pronounced differently than you think they are. Right. Uh, Lola's Table, and it's this uh, great Spanish place, and you know, it's fantastic. I think I've been there. Really I'm tiny. It it's tiny, tiny. I think I've been there. Not much bigger than this room. Seriously, yeah. a little bit bigger, but you yeah. know, very small. I haven't been in New Orleans in so long. Um, I mean, it's got to be. Easily five years since I've been there. And I'm, I don't know how the kids will do there, if it's going to be anything that, you know, I don't want them. They, yeah. I mean, they're, I'm, they're behaved enough to where they're really not. I if, why did I say that? That's such a lie. They're not. They do whatever. <laughs> You're you know, lie. They, they might behave. They might not. I can't guarantee what they're going to do. <laughs> we'll just see. Yeah. Nobody's going to know who yeah, I am. No, it's not going to yeah. make any difference anyway. That's fine. But that's the main thing I want. And I I put some things on Table Talk to ask people about where to where I should take kids. Yeah. Um. You know, where they right. want to eat. And Megan's just, you know, she's kind of said, Oysters. She wants some oysters, so we'll definitely wow. get some oysters. And, nice. Yeah, you know, but most of it just um, just a few days to yeah. get away, yeah. give them something to do. Yeah. Um, 
where have I? I'm trying to think of anywhere else I've been. I always am excited when I tell you about some place you haven't been, but I haven't been very creative in Memphis lately about food. Um, the SOB thing. Um, have you you've been to Hustle and Dough, right? We've talked about that. Yes. Yeah, that is amazing. It is. It's very uh, good. And I've been up to the Tiger and Peacock a couple times. And that view up there, this is the Memphian Hotel in Overton Park, Overton Square, um, is and they've got great drinks and uh, it is just an amazing view. I've been up there for just actually just coincidentally at the sunset and it's just a remarkable view up there. So I highly re- recommend that. Well, have you I'll, been, have, I'll, did you review them when they, mm, you've written about them? No, I wrote from the open, yeah, but I haven't been there. And, yeah. I wrote, and I wrote when they got their, um, yeah. the new chef who moved back to town, who I don't remember his name right offhand. I'm sorry. Um, but I did write about that. But no, I haven't been there. So I think I'll go after I go to SOB. Yeah. I'll just, that's how I'll finish today out. I'll go to SOB, grab a little bite, and yeah. then run over there, have a drink, watch the sunset. Sunset <laughs> doesn't set though until I've got, I I've got a while to go now. <laughs> um, um, and you've got this big project coming up, which we can't talk about, but right. we're working on some cool stuff. So people need we to We do be- have some fun things um, coming this coming your way this summer. We do have a few projects that yeah. um, are, yeah. I think that well, I, I feel I feel like everybody I would not be putting so much work into them if I didn't think yeah. that they were going to be uh, exciting things that people are going to be interested in. So, and again, you can get um, uh, Jennifer's show every Thursday at eleven. Uh, Sound bites is on WYXR ninety one point seven eleven every Thursday, and you also can get it as a podcast on the WYXR site, on the Daily Memphian site, or wherever you get your podcasts. Um, Jennifer, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Well. Thanks for being here for me too. Oh yeah, yeah. I appreciate was, that. Yes, yes. Always. I think this. I think this was better than your show, though. Do you think? And we so? just yeah. Yours was fine. It was fine. But I mean, this just we really kind of found our groove in this. Well, then we, I think <laughs> we should start doing go. yours first. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that, couldn't we? Let's start it probably will hey, it probably will. But when backwards. we did the Kit Kat Chit Chat, though, I <laughs> remember very little. Of my show, which we did second. I just remember moaning a lot and I think I was swearing and Natalie had to take all the swearing out. But I just, it was like a, it was just a fog of, of just a candy chocolate sugar fog. It well, was horrible. Um, people should go back. We did have ice cream today though. We did, but it didn't hit me that hard. That was good. No, it, it's it, not it, that sweet. It's no, good. It's, it, yeah. and it has, you know, yeah. other things like it has protein and stuff in right. it too. What, by the way, what was your first concert? I know I asked you before when you were on the show. My first concert, I think that, you know, I got confused about this because I always think it was one thing. It really wasn't. My first concert was Bobby Sherman. Bobby Sherman. Mm -hmm. It was at the Auditorium North Hall. Wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. And okay. yeah, I, I always thought that it was Three Dog Night for some reason, but it wasn't. Yeah, it people was, get confused about that yeah, for sure. So Bobby, that, you're not you're in good company with that. Thanks again for being here. Again, if you missed any of the show today, you can get it on the WYXR app. You can go to the Daily Memphian and get it, or you can get it wherever you get your podcasts. Please do subscribe to this podcast and all our Daily Memphian podcasts. Also, the Behind the Headlines podcast. We are there, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get them. Thanks, and we will see you next week. Oh,